Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. B and B recap. Eric reveals he needs RJ's help after difficult diagnosis. In addition, everybody worried about Hope's and Thomas's mindsets. Now let's dig a little deeper into what exactly happened. Having swung by the Forrester mansion to pick up his phone charger, as if a successful influencer doesn't have backup chargers, RJ, Joshua Hoffman, picked up on the fact that all was not well with his gramps. Eric, John McCook, admitted that indeed everything was not okay. No, it was nothing for RJ to be concerned about, but RJ was concerned, so he asked Eric to open up and tell him what was bothering him. With that, the floodgates opened. Eric blamed things on Ridge, Thorsten K. Eric's feeling inspired, moved by the creative muses, and he intends to design a new collection, but party pooper Ridge suggested that he retire. And not in those exact words, mind you, but the implication was clear. RJ couldn't believe his dad's insensitivity, for some reason, and wondered if Eric intended to trudge on alone. Eric assured his grandson that he would, trudge on, that is, but he didn't want to go it alone, and the near-crippling arthritis wouldn't allow him to do so. No, Eric wanted RJ's assistance. After all, if he couldn't get first choice, Ridge, the man's namesake, should be just as good. Not all that's left is for RJ to say yea or nay. The last person Liam, Scott Clifton, expected or wanted to see walk into his office was Thomas, Matthew Atkinson, but there the enemy was. Despite Liam's protests, Thomas insisted on staying put and having his say, which pretty much amounted to telling Liam that he'd be a straight-up fool to let a woman like Hope, Annika Noel, go. With that food for thought delivered, Thomas headed to Forrester Creations and hunted down Hope. He relayed to her the mission he undertook, and Hope was pretty impressed despite herself and in spite of Brooke, Catherine Kelly Lang, earlier hissing, don't you dare go back to Thomas. Thomas then made an impassioned plea for Hope to return to him. He waxed lyrical about her beauty and grace, took responsibility for his past misdeeds, and swore that he wanted only to be hers, to be there for her, to create for her, and to make love to her. With that, Thomas pulled Hope in for a few steamy smooches. Eventually, Hope pulled herself away and stood there contemplating her next move. Meanwhile, across the hall, after giving a moment's lip service to Eric's tantrum and making it clear that he's very much missed the point. No, Ridge, this wasn't about a stapler or the use of an office. Okay, it might have been a little bit about the use of an office. Ridge asked Steffi, Jacqueline Massinswood, about her brother. Enter Brooke to explain to the pair that Liam had refused to forgive and forget and that she was worried, terribly worried about her vulnerable daughter.